Hello. Well, I, I, that's not what I usually say. I'm like, hello, freak. But you know, I, I decided to do the drawn out. Hello. Which. Okay. Exactly. So this is gonna be a haul video. Um. We like these ones. Uh, yeah, we're basically... Oh, God. <laughs> it's when you realise how many fucking books we've got. Oh. Yeah, I'm so used to saying, yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's it, how many books um, we have that you, you realise this... Oh, jeez. Now, this has been building up for a little while, especially your side. My side, I don't have that excuse, really. But it's fine. Uh, we love books. And I've actually read quite a lot of my... Set. Well, I haven't read quite a lot, but I've... Well, no, I have. Anyway, so it doesn't matter. Point is... This let's is begin. going really well. It is. Uh, there are so many books that we just need to, like, dive right in. Do you want to start with your ones? Sure. Your pile. Okay. Or two I, piles. I honestly... So, um, I'm going with, like, stuff that I just randomly picked up. In Waterstones, first of all. Um, well, first of all, the latest one from Victoria Schwab, um, who also goes by V Schwab, but the these ones are the I think middle grade books. Um, this mm. one is Bridge of Souls. This is the third one of a trilogy, and I have read the first two books and really enjoyed them. About a girl who can see ghosts, and she takes pictures and stuff, and she goes up through the veil, and she has a ghostly friend. Um, and that, and it's really good because it's all set in different places as well. So you get to learn about different places. So like the first one set in Scotland, the second mm. one in Paris in the catacombs. Um, and this one is Bridge of Souls and it is, where is it set? New Orleans, which is very exciting. I like New Orleans mm. as, a, as a place in a book. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. So I'm really looking forward to this one and that's why I picked this one up. Mm hmm. Shall I carry on with my next one? Or yeah, no, just yeah. go through yours. Okay, this one was very random. Um, it's called The Bone Garden. You basically saw this cover and went, what's that? I did. I saw the cover and I had my arms full of books and I went, what's that? Um, and it is basic. it does sound right up my street because, um, so this is kind of a fantasy thing. Um... And it's a, about a girl called Ariel, I believe her name is, um, who is made of dust and bone and imagination. Um, and she fears she's not quite real, but she is tied to someone called Miss Vespa. Um, and she tries to please her. Um, she doesn't seem to, and she goes and runs away into like a, a graveyard um sort of thing so it sounded right up my alley it's i have i mean mainly you got it because the cover really yeah look i mean look 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 that's such a cool color mm. i love it um so yeah looking forward to reading that one and i think this was the last one i got in waterstones was no it? it was that one. Oh, okay yeah okay so there's two more from that um, this one is This Poison Heart by Kaylin Bayron, um, who also did Cinderella is Dead, which I read and I really enjoyed. Um, uh, but this one, um, so Cinderella is Dead, obviously, um, sort of, it was kind of a reboot or a, it, it kind of, it's was, not a reboot, it was more of a, I it, it enlarged more... on the story. So it's like, Cinderella was because a Because I know person. people often say, oh, like a retelling, but I don't think it, it was It wasn't a retelling. a retelling, no. Because, um, I think so it was more like, it felt like it was set in the world, maybe? Like, they took yes, the world. Yes, it was set and... in the world. So Cinderella um, was a real person. And um, Prince Charming, um, you know, then each new Prince Charming has to find a new um, Cinderella you know, a new wife basically at the ball, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and, and basically it was, it was one that was like years and years and years later. I really enjoyed it. So I thought I'd get this one, which um, I believe is to do with the secret garden. 
Mm. Um, and this one is about, uh, I'm sorry, I'm really going to mangle this name, but Briseis has a gift. So she can grow an apple tree from seed in a heartbeat and flowers bloom at her touch. She sounds very cool. Um, and she inherits an old house um, and suddenly has the privacy to test her powers for the first time. Um, and fortunately, her name is then shortened to Bri, which, yay, <laughs> really helpful for me, because otherwise I'll just mangle it in my head the whole time. Um, yeah, so she's magicking the grounds back to life. Um, and she, but as well as the house, she's inherited generations of secrets. Um, so along with deadly poisonous plants. Wow, this is cool. Um, I, sorry, I forget stuff really easily. If you listen to our blathering pod, you will know. I love the fact you're, you're reading the full synopsis and we have like how many books? I, I had this like literally on my wish list for a long time so i forgot what it was about i know exactly. but you're reading each of the synopsis i'm like oh my god this one's gonna go on forever i'm sorry <laughs> this no, is only it's six okay. minutes it's, it's okay it's not bad well yes anyway, but if look, you're doing that for cover, each one the cover is beautiful yeah gorgeous anyway sorry i'll try and make these a bit faster no 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 you can do oh, that oh, one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh yes, of course, sorry. And this was the last one I got from Waterstones, which was, which everyone will probably know about anyway, the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. Which I think has to do with, just... <laughs> um, it, it seemed like it, I, I honestly don't know that much about it, but okay. it's like mental health stuff, and I thought it might make me, it might cheer me up. I'm going to start my two then, because I don't think I'll ever get to mine with you going on. Yeah, okay. No, it's fine, I'm that's, joking. That's, I'm joking, that's it's fine. No, that's it's pro fair. It's probably going to take me ages to talk about mine anyway. Um, well, actually, one of these I'm not going to talk much about because, well, I was, I sort of on the podcast, but it doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, so uh, I've got two from a HMV haul. This was a while ago. So this is sort of like, this is the one that's from the longest time ago. I think most of yours come from like just, quite a while ago and then some recent yeah i've never done a book haul i'm very excited uh so but these come from a hmv haul uh if you remember i i did uh a similar thing i got like four things and then i went back uh because i was mainly after this uh so this is day of the triffids by uh, john windham very famous book i also have the uh series the bbc series um so i and if you if you listen to the podcast well i, I don't know but it, i am one of those people that likes to read the book before i watch the adaptation so i was like uh, i'm gonna pick this up so i can read it before i get to the bbc series um but i'm very excited it's about flesh eating plants we're very excited exactly uh but yeah i mean that's that's the selling point uh, and then also I have War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. Wow! Which I've read. Because um, generally new stuff I have just not read. Um, but this is something I've read. And I'm doing a review of it. I mean, I know I was like hyping up on the podcast. So it might have come from the podcast. But yes, I'm going to do a review of this. Um, but I've read this. And I'm not going to say too much about what I thought. I'm not going to say anything about what I thought. Um, but I, I mean, this is famous. People know what this is about, right? You know, Martians come down to Earth and attack. Uh, you, you, you know, you know. It's exciting. Sorry. Exactly. I'm gonna put them behind so we've got more room. Okay, you can do two because I, I I did one haul, so you know. Okay, so my next one is of Mud and Flame. Now, if you listen to our podcast, I believe it was on there. It was. Um, we we yeah. talked about. Uh, so obviously, this is about Pender's Fence. This is about Pender's Fence. So this is a book that's basically, um, it's like sort of essays and writings of people that are obsessed with Pender's Fen, which I now am as well, obsessed with Pender's Fen. Very excited to get to this. I'm probably going to dip in and out of this one. To be fair. Yeah, this is one that she's not going to like read right through. But yeah. 
Um, yeah, just sort of dipping in and out of different essays. But yeah, I'm very excited about that one. Um, and okay, so now just, I'm just, 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 pick, just pick one. I'm to talk gonna about go, okay, so I'm gonna go with this one. So, Ryan Lassar. <laughs> Lassar. 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 Uh, yeah. It's basically okay, so he, he was really fun. Um, and he's we've on, read neither of these, we haven't but read we do either of these, but I follow. love Ryan Lassar so much that um, I basically bought both um, of these books and. They look great. I mean, Reverie is one that has, um, so, oh God, okay. Just so you don't know much about it. Yeah, I don't know much about it. No, I did used to know much about it, but I can't remember. You did used to know much about it. <laughs> I did used to know much, but now I don't. But the, I know there's a drag queen in this one and it sounds just awesome. Um, so I'm very excited, and, then, and also this one. So 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 this one's I do kind know, of fantasy, and this one I do know about this one more because I remember the the lead up to this more one. a contemporary, um, which is ex boyfriends going to a uh, con together a competition. Sorry, together. yeah, entering the competition like each of them are doing their. Uh, it's like a um, they make called? glittery things. Mm. Which is great. So, yes, very excited to catch that one. Be doubled. Mm -hmm. mm. Right, I'm going to do... So, you know, cast your mind back to her first haul. This is from that same thing. These are what I got. It was, Oh, my God. It wouldn't make more sense for me to go first, really. But there you go. That's how we do things around here. Um, so, first, sense. so, first of all, another thing that I've... Well, I've started and I've finished one of the stories in here. And that is uh, The Fear Street. Er, uh, bleh, R.L. Stein, uh, the beginning. This is the first four books of the Fear Street series. Uh, obviously, there was the movies recently, the trilogy of movies, which were awesome. Love those. I wasn't so keen on the second one, but the the third one was amazing. Um, so yeah, this this is the first four. It's got n the New Girl, which I've read, uh, the Surprise Party, the Overnight, and Missing. Um, I. Uh, the new girl I gave three stars. I'm not going to do a full review on it because it it's short and I wasn't. There's not much to talk about really. It was a bit weird. Um, it was okay. I've I've seen people react far worse to it than I did. So, uh, you know, leave worse reviews. I mean, um, I just sort of found it a bit odd and weird. And not great, but it was entertaining enough. There was a bit too much repetition. But yeah, anyway. Uh, so there's that, um, obviously. Then I have uh, The Mermaid, The Witch and the Sea. Which I'm um, also excited for. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful cover. So I heard about this one. Um, and then I saw that it was out and it was on a shelf. And I was like, oh, I'm going to pick it up. And um, again, I don't know a ton about this. Uh, I just know that obviously we're following a pirate uh, called uh, Flora uh, or Florin um, who is like they're riding under a false flag, flag and then they uh, so they're taking like people on and then they reveal themselves and take a, take the crew and that and then then there's someone on the crew called Lady Evelyn. Oh, God, I'm going to butcher this name. Hasagawa, um, who is a high-born imperial daughter. And then I think they fall in love and stuff happens. That's all I know. Uh, I think they probably sail the sea together or something. I don't know. Mm. Uh, and then, okay, this is an author I've read before. And I thought I'd get a short story, their short story collection. Or I, I, it's just a collection of short stories, basically, and that is Shirley Jackson's uh, The Lottery and Other Stories. Um, so, obviously, The Lottery is really, really famous, really popular. I've read uh, The Haunting of Hill House. Um, and so have I. Mm, uh, fantastic. Absolutely loved it. I think we did it on the podcast. Yes, I'm pretty sure we did. Um, and I am I am reading these short stories. Um, I've read quite a few now. Very, very good. Really enjoying this. 
So again, oh look at me reading the stuff that I actually that I bought. Wow, because generally I leave it ages until I actually read the stuff that we got. Yeah, well we're definitely so like I've had this year a really bad year. Um, anyway, so. but yeah, I definitely getting more into the to the reading again, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, okay. Uh, you can yeah you can go. Okay, so next one is Darling <coughs> by Kay Ancrum. <laughs> Die that. Um, Darling by Kay Ancrum, not Darling. Um, and this is basically, um, it's based on Peter Pan. Is it? I think this is actually a retelling, sort of. It is. Um, it's kind of up to date. Nice. Yes. Nice side. So, sorry. So, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's nice rose foiling on the, uh, on the, on the word there. Um, okay, so this is about Wendy Darling's first night in Chicago. A boy called Peter appears at her window. Sounds sus to me. Um, and so he's dizzy and captivating, beautiful. So she agreed to join him for a night on the town. As you do, you know, I mean, God, can you say Edward and Bella? Anyway, Wendy thinks they're heading to a party, but instead they're running into the city's underground. She makes friends. A punk girl named Tinkerbell, who sounds awesome. Um, Lost Boys, Peter watches over, and she makes enemies as well. Detective Hook, and maybe Peter himself, and his sinister secrets. Um, I love the way you read these. Ah! <laughs> well, you know. It's, it's great, I love it. Excellent. It's very Thank entertaining. You. Um, anyway, so I really, really enjoyed The Wicker King. That was one of my favourite reads last year. Um, so we got this. You are currently reading another one of Kay Ancrum's. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, um, the Weight of the Stars. The Weight of the Stars, exactly. Yeah. Um, and I haven't read that one yet. But, um, yeah. I'm currently reading it. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Do you... No, you can go with another one. Yeah. If you want. Okay, cool. Um, and so this one is also a sequel this one is flash fire it is the sequel to the extraordinaries which was another one of both of our favorites last year um it is a superhero. I one of my favorites last year because there were a lot of good ones last year uh, but I, it, it it was a it was a great book though yeah no i did love it like top 10 mm. yeah um i love tj clean anyway he's he's great he's he's fun right especially when he writes comedy it was really fun, um, and the um, Extraordinaries was very funny, so I'm hoping that this one will be funny as well. Honestly, I can't believe I haven't actually got to reading this one yet, but I think that's mainly because I have been struggling. I've been picking up things, really enjoying them, and putting them back down again, so a bit of a nightmare. Um, but yeah, this is this is basically, it's it's about superheroes, and they are teenage boys so you know it's fun yes it's good fun okay and then uh i did mine backwards it's supposed to go there but anyway um so no that's i think it goes there doesn't it technically but anyway it doesn't really it doesn't actually matter um so then our overlords amazon uh <laughs> our amazonic overlord exactly uh, yeah, I got your Amazon books, um, but, you know, reading and everything. So, um, review of this should be up by the time that uh, this, this video is up. Yeah, I've got to um, attempt to edit stuff. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, Thanks A Lot Universe by Chad Lucas. We have uh, read this, so I'm not going to say uh, what we think of it. Um, we've both read it, right? Yes. Did I not say we've read this? Yeah, I think you said oh, okay. we've read it. Uh, right, like, yeah. Yeah, anyways. we've both read it. I will give you a brief synopsis. This one's quite difficult to d do because there's quite a lot going on. But uh, it's following these two boys. Uh, so we've got Brian and Ezra. Um, and so Brian, he's uh, very anxious uh, and... Uh, at the beginning of the book, uh, him and his little brother, Richie, uh, so he's got a little brother, Richie, so his father goes on the run because of the law, and uh, and then his mum uh, commits suicide, or tries, uh, attempts 
attempted suicide, she doesn't actually succeed. Say it's an overdose. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, then they're obviously put into the what's it called? The foster system. Thank you. Um, foster care system. Yeah. And then they then run away a little. Happens. Yeah, then they run away. Well, because I sort of have to say that, and it does say it in the synopsis. Uh, they run away. Um, it's not so much based on them running away. Though, no, it isn't. Is what but, I thought it was going to be about. Exactly. The synopsis makes it sound like that, which is why I say because I I'm I'm getting around to it because we're also following Ezra, who uh, has a crush on Brian and also. Um, like his friendship group is sort of changing and stuff and he, he doesn't know how to feel about all of that and then he ends up going after Brian and that sets off a chain of events that's kind of how I like to say because it's not about them running away it, it kind of sets off a chain of events you'll just have to see when you read it but yeah okay so there is that um that one took quite a while to talk about but yeah that is quite difficult <laughs> it is quite difficult to synopsize uh then I have this uh, this is uh, Richard Broskin's The Hawkeye Monster, a gothic western. Um, nice short one, this. So we, again, both read uh, In Watermelon and Sugar and uh, talked about it on the podcast. Um, and we absolutely loved it. Fantastic. Loved it. Awesome book. Uh, so I decided to pick up uh, another of theirs. Uh, this one is, it's really weird. Uh, we're following Magic Child's uh who's a 15 year old indian girl and then she's looking for hitmen who she finds to kill a monster in miss hawkman's yellow house that's how i'm gonna synopsize that because yeah it it it's roskin if you know him then you know it's gonna be fucking weird say it again yeah <laughs> no, right, you did, did sort of say hmm. yes so anyway uh then i also have uh a favourite author of mine. I've read a lot of J.D. Ballard and I absolutely adore him. Um, and I decided to pick up Atrocity Exhibition, which I think is sort of a series of short stories that are interlinked by a main character and that. Um, I believe this also, one of the short stories, Crash, is what then got turned into the novel Crash. Um, so yeah, this one's quite famous. It has the... Uh, really famous. Uh, oh, I, should I say this on YouTube? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, why I want to f Ronald Reagan. Uh, there you go. You I mean, might I have really, heard of that. I honestly really want to read that one because <laughs> I'd love to know. Yeah. Uh, so there's there's it, and then this took. For bloody ever to get it. <laughs> I'd ordered other stuff after this. I know, but it was amazing because it came from originally, where did it come from? <coughs> I can't like, remember. Barcelona, I think. I think it was Barcelona. And then it came to the UK. And then it went back to Belgium or some, uh, somewhere. Barcelona, I think it went to Barcelona again. And it went, it, it just it travelled. So it travelled the world. Uh, but that is... No, it just went backwards and forwards. Yeah. It's like they forgot to drop it off or something. Uh, so this is Songs of a Dead Dreamer and Grim Scribe, uh, Thomas Lagoti by Thomas Lagoti. These are two short story collections. Maybe they thought it was really dodgy because of the picture on the front. And they were like, ooh. Yeah, I love this. It's probably a psychopath. So yes. send it back. Yeah. Um, anyway, so this was, this was on a whim. This one... <laughs> Um, and it's quite exciting because obviously sort of Halloween-y reads because it's, it's sort of, I know it's very much, uh, like they seem to be very inspired by Hate Lovecraft and that. Um, but yeah, these, oh, this sounds like a, a Christmas one, <laughs> but there's mannequins and stuff. It's a short story collection. It sounds good. Uh, so I decided to get that. Okay. On to you. Okay. So, um, <coughs> this one is one I am currently reading. This is These Violent Delights. Um, it's not going to be long until um, Our Violent Ends, I think, is the um, second one. I think it's a duology um, is coming out. So, um, yes, so I have finally picked this one up. Um, I don't, I mean, you know, it's got some nice foiling. 
and stuff like that. But um, one of the nice things about this one, I mean, it was signed, but also because I got in early, I got a nice little wood plate. Um, and also this lovely bookmark from the author who sent it out to me. So awesome. Thank you, Chloe. Um, it's basically a reworking of uh, Romeo and Juliet set in 1926 in Shanghai. Um, and there is a, a river monster, basically. In, in the uh, in the river and no really <laughs> yeah sorry I was I was trying to think of what the river was called but I couldn't think so I was like there's a river monster in the river the 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 the, 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 the yeah anyway um so yeah and it's going really well I'm really enjoying it so far wish I'd picked it up sooner but I am quite happy that I picked it up now because I might be able to um, read the second one really quickly and I have also got in in time for the Art cards. So yay me! Exactly. Uh, you can do another one. Okay. Then. Groovy. So one of the things that I really like doing is buying pretty books. Mm. So um, Song of Achilles, <laughs> I only ever had this on Kindle um, and saw that a special edition was coming out and pre -order. You have read this. I have read this. Just well, so you know, it, it's not... Oh, it's on Kindle, we haven't read it yet. No, you've read it. I no, no, read no, it. I read it. I loved it. Um, and this is the... Also inside. It's very nice. Yeah, the, so this is the um, anniversary edition. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> the end papers and, and stuff. And it is, it's got it's, a little ribbon. There is also coming up um, a sale through Illumicrate, which they're doing uh, a double box set, which I won't be getting because I don't have enough money because I've literally had to spend out a lot of money on glasses today. So, um, but um, that those ones are green with a slipcase, very nice with Cersei as well. Um, so this one in particular is, um, as you may imagine, about um, Achilles. I mean, it's very um, popular, this one. Yeah, and I've forgotten the other guys. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so bad. Um, I should have looked this up, but anyway, um, yeah, it, it's it's really good, and pe people love it. Achilles and Patroclus. Pa yeah, Patroclus or Patroclus. Patroclus. Okay. Um, yeah, and people do tend to absolutely love it. It's great. I love it. I mean, it's very, very, very romantic. Um, you know, and also very, 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 very sad. So. Yeah. Be aware of that. Uh, yeah. Okay, then me. <laughs> um, okay, so these two. Um, so this one's exciting because uh, last year, I think, I'm pretty sure it was last year, I read uh, You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah, 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 Leah. Johnson, uh, which I absolutely loved. Fantastic book. Uh, I think I did a pod. We talk, I talked about it on the podcast. You have not read that yet, and you should. I know I started um, it, but I was I've been in my um, you know picking things up, putting them down. Yeah, nightmare. Um, but yeah, so Rise of the Sun, the new one by this author. Uh, very very excited to get to this. Uh, it's about two girls who go to a music festival and I guess fall in love and or are in love, or, you know, rom-com type stuff. Although, on the back here, it says the festival is sent into a panic, which I was not expecting. Um, so, I don't know what that's about, but I'm excited. Um, yeah, this one. I'm just very excited to read it. Um, and then, for those of you that like the Doctor Who stuff that I talk about on this channel, uh, this one will be of interest, I think. Especially for the people that really like the, the Virgin New Adventures stuff, because obviously I've talked about them quite a bit on this channel. Um, I've got Dead Romance by Lawrence Miles. So obviously this is one of the Virgin New Adventures after they lost the license to the Doctor. Um, and, and basically the stuff that were originated from the, the TV programme. 
Um, so basically, they just continued it on with Bernie Summerfield and, and stuff like that. And this is one of the later ones of that. Um, and it also sets up like the faction paradox stuff, I think. Or oh, there's some sort of setup in here, apparently. Um, and it's this republished version. I believe this went out of print for a while and then just randomly came back. Uh, th this is the Mad Norwegian Press version. Um, so, yeah, very excited about this one. Um, I don't really know much about this. I'm not really going to do, like, synopsis stuff because this is more sort of just, you know, uh, Doctor E. If you goodness. know, you know. Exactly. Um, there's probably, like, there's probably a bit of an audience that are like, what are you talking about? Faction? What? Huh? Vote? Uh huh? Um, and for those people, don't worry. It's it, it's fine. You don't need to know. It's it's all right. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to have an actual physical copy of this because I didn't know if I was going to be able to get this one, to be honest. And this was the easiest way to get this. Uh, so yeah, Excuse nice. Excuse me. Nice, nice big version. Right. Okay. Uh, you can do some more. We're nearly there. Woo. We are nearly there. Okay. So. Um, uh, shall I do my last three? Because my last three are basically, um, I get a book box every month um, from a Luma Crate. One day I will do an unboxing when I remember and when I'm not too the excited. The next one. When I'm not too excited to open I'm the damn thing. I'm holding this to it, the next one. Okay, so um, <clears throat> this one was actually last month's, so uh, to August. Yes, because this was September, is that right? That's yes. September. I, I yes, think so that's this, August. This is August. Um, and this is The Devil Makes Free. This was, so basically what they do in Illumicrate is they have a book and they tend to try and theme things now, which I really, really like. They, um, I mean, they do stuff that's like relating to other books, um, but they also like try and tie them in now with a theme over all the books. And they quite frequently have very gorgeous, like covers um yeah they're, they're like special editions they're, they're special sprayed editions marble edges. sprayed signed um and things like that so um or they have book plates or, or things like that you know uh stamp book plates so uh this one in particular this is dark academia that came with a load of dark academia stuff little teeny tiny teacup and saucer which Honestly, it's about the right size for um, a uh, cappuccino, uh, not cappuccino, what's it called? An espresso. An espresso. Um, yeah, little little espresso cup that would be ideal for. Um, but yeah, it's an Athena cup. It's really cute. Um, I should have got that ready, shouldn't I, really? Um, this one as well, which I have actually started reading, um, but it, it has fallen foul of my pick it up, put it down and stop reading um and not because it's bad it's not bad seriously um oh this also this has one really nice has, inside yes yeah, so uh, this has a beautiful cover which is i mean these are usually exclusive to illumin as well it's got the beautiful uh foiling on that as well and it's also got so it's got the <sighs> sprayed edges and also, it's got a hidden jacket, which is just gorgeous. Jesus, I hope you can see that. Sorry. Yeah, there you go. Look, get out of the way. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's beautiful. I'm just going to lie here for a bit. Oh, and I should say, every, every month as well, they come with, um, like, various different things. So, with The Devil Makes Three, um, there's, there's a little pin. A little pin. The Stacey, pins, they always do pins. Stacy McAvoy Corn always does the book of the month pin. So this one goes with the Devil Makes Three. And if you can see, it's beautiful. It's a book. It's got wispy things around it. That one. It's what's on the front of the uh, of the hardcover. Yes, exactly. They find a devil in, uh, or like a, a demon in a book or something, don't they? I don't one. know. Yeah, this month. This month, <laughs> this was this was really exciting. This is like the one that you're most excited for as well, because you never usually get that excited for my. I don't know. I've books. been excited for the last, well, a few of them, because uh, I I I think the devil makes three sounds exciting, and also was it the ravenous 
dark or something. I can't remember mm. what it's called. That anyway, so this one is Empire of the Vampire. There we go. By Which the cover uh, is already Jay just Crystal. beautiful. The cover is beautiful. Okay, so we opened it up. It is massive. Obviously got the... And look at the side. <laughs> it's like they outdid themselves with this. It's so gorgeous. And look on the back as well. It's lovely. Um, and then you've got... You're just freaking out here. I know. I was like, wow, we really should have done an unboxing with this box because what? We, we freaked out with this one. That's the front. That's the side. All and shall also near. Also, the back cover that's just ah. All um, shall kneel. In papers and you know signed as well, and yeah, so exciting. Um, and I honestly don't know an awful lot about this. I mean, um, I did know that we were getting this one. Usually each month the book is a surprise, although you can look it up because they give you hints. And I always love to go on there and try and work out what's going to happen. Also, one month. of the items that came with it is this, which we adore. Uh, it it's is Percy Jackson. Yeah, it's sword. Percy Jackson's sword and... Yeah, we fight over it, and you nearly poked your own eye out with it. I day. did. Uh, you could have seen me with a with a what, what's it called? An eye patch. An eye patch. Uh, yeah. So, I, so this is Percy Jackson's sword. We haven't read any of the Percy Jackson books. I want to all, though. Yeah, we, we we always say we really want to, but look at this. It's so cool. I love it. It's like a little replica sword, and it came with a little pouch as well. That's all of mine. Oh yeah, I might as well show you one of the uh, bookmarks because we quite often get bookmarks in these book boxes as well. So this is one of the bookmarks. And they always tell you what they are because they have like a little um, inlay thing. I can't remember what this is from. Um, but yeah, they always have a little um, card that tells you what the books are that the things, the items relate to. Can I go in there? Yes, you can go. In. Okay, my final thing. So, I've got two. Um, so, one you'll know about if you've listened to the podcast, which is this. Uh, the Body Snatchers by Jake. Jack. Jake. Jack Finney. Um, I was going to say Jack Septicai then. No. Um, so, obviously, this is. Um, Why is this getting uncomfortable? What the film is based on and everything. Um, we've. We're. <clears throat> we talked about uh, this uh, book on the pod, not the book, sorry, the film, the 1978 film on the podcast, um, the 3rd of October edition. Um, so, um, yeah, obviously, I mean, more popular film, I feel like. Because, you know, people... It's people been remade know. a few times. I mean, you know, yeah. you've got the 1950s one, the uh, 1970s one. But, yeah, I mean, if you, if, you know the, if you know the basics of the films on that, that is what that is. I'm not going to go too deep into that. Uh, right, and then Do also... Do you know it or are you a pod person? Exactly. And then also, um, I have... So... I kept, we, we kept seeing this cover and we kind of laughed at it every time. But yes. I discovered about the author, um, it's less about the book to be honest. I discovered about the author and I was like, oh, this, they sound really interesting. So I really wanted to pick up one of the books and I thought I'd go with the one I kept seeing, which is Babel 17 by, or Babel, Babel, Babel. Babel. Uh, okay, Babel 17, which is by Samuel R. Delaney. Um, so... <sighs> This one is about, set uh, in the far future, after human civilization has spread through the galaxy, uh, communications begin to arrive in an apparently alien language. They appear to threaten invasion, but in order to counter the threat, the message must first be understood. So. And it's got this person with the most amazing hat on it, mm. which is why we were always seeing it and talking about it and going, hey, it's quite small. where did they get that hat? Where did they get that hat? Mm. 
But there you go. So that is, and obviously I am building quite a collection of uh, sci-fi masterworks, the yeah. Glance sci-fi masterwork stuff. They're very nice. The thing is, the covers are a bit sort of uh, hit and miss, but they're really nice side by side on on a shelf. Which is always nice because quite quite often, you know, you have like a really gorgeous cover and the spine just looks, you know, it's normal. I mean, the spine does look normal, but like they just look quite nice on the shelf yeah, once they're all together. Like a whole oh, of them, so cool. Yes, exactly. Uh, oh, but uh, we got two two copies. Yeah, of we're this. doing a joint read of this one mm. this month. Yes. So yeah, I, I thought I'd say that because we do actually have two copies of this. So boom. All right then. So. Uh, oh my God! Finally, we got to the end. I told you it was a lot of books. Uh, so thank you for joining us. Uh, there will be a uh, links in the description for Twitter, podcast, all that good stuff. Um, uh, obviously, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And obviously, comment down below. Have you read any of these? Do you love any of these? Uh, do you hate any of these? Or do you just know uh, about some of them? Um, love to hear what you think. Um, obviously, we will not take any heed because we we are quite often have very yeah, contrary we opinions. Yeah, we definitely contrarian. Have gone, yeah, yeah, we definitely do tend to uh, disagree with a lot of things, don't we? Yes. So, um, but yeah, no. Uh, have you read any of these? What do you think of them, basically? Um, yeah, we've got a lot to read. Basically, is 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 kind of what I've discovered from this video. That's yeah. Uh, that's the short version of what this was. Mm. Okay, thank you for joining us. Um. Oh no, I don't know where my. Oh, okay, never mind. I've lost my clicker. Yeah, I have. Oh well. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you next time. Bye.